So, I wanted to start off with a joke with you guys first. It's gonna be a bit of a dad joke, so you guys have to, I must, I'm sorry ahead of time. <laughs> but what is ice cream's favorite day of the week? And if you know the answer, tell me, go ahead. Um, is it Wednesday? Close, you're a few days off. Um, do you have another idea? Yeah, Sunday. Uh huh, Sunday. So, do you know? I wrote it down on here. So, what ice cream's favorite day? What is ice cream's favorite day of the week? And we said Sunday, right? And obviously, you meant Sunday, like an ice cream Sunday, right? Because it's a play on words. And we know that a regular day of the week is spelled like this with the a y, right? So Sunday versus Sunday. So that type of play on words is called a homophone. So a homophone, does anyone know what that is? Based on, yep, go ahead. It's two words that sound the same, but are spelled different. Okay, yeah, for sure. So it's two words that sound the same, but, sound, but are spelled different, and they have different meaning as well, right? So that type of play on words, what would you call this type of joke? Do you guys have any ideas? Go ahead. A diggy or idiom? An idiom, that's a good guess, but not quite what I'm looking for. Do you have a different idea or are you gonna say something similar? I think it's gonna be like an ice cream joke. An ice cream joke? Yeah. <laughs> I like that answer. <laughs> and you're not wrong, technically. So this type of joke is called a pun. I'm sure you guys have heard oh. that before. Yeah. Okay, so a pun. So a pun is gonna be, it kinda is a joke that has a deeper meaning, right? So it's gonna have two different words that mean the same thing, and it kinda just plays on that. So I'm gonna give you guys another pun, and I want you guys, will one of you guys read this to me? Okay, go ahead and read that. I'm so bored, I wish something fun would come along. Okay, so what's the joke for that one? Um, no. Yeah, go ahead. It's a board, and it's also, the board is also made of wood, and mm -hmm. it says, I'm so bored, but spelled B-O-A-R-D instead of, like, the normal way of spelling board, and then the wood is W-O-O-D instead of that. W-O-U-L-D, right? Okay, good job. So that is a homophone as well as we explain. And so, homophone's kind of a big word, <laughs> so I'm gonna make you guys clap. So, let's start with each syllable, okay, ready? So, <laughs> ho mo -tom. Okay, good job, you guys. So, a homophone, we know that's a play on words, and so I have this to remind ourselves during the lesson. Our exact definition is a homophone is words that sound the same but have different spellings and different meanings. So now that we know that we're learning about puns today and we're specifically going to talk about homophones and we're going to talk about homographs. So homographs is a bit different. Homophones, I think it's a good way to remember it, is phone. So it's going to be sound, right? Homograph is different though. Graph, what do you think of when you think of a graph? Go ahead. Yeah, exactly. And you like plot graph, like points in it, right? So you're writing. So homograph, if you think about it that way, is going to be spelling. So it's a bit different. So it has to be something that's spelled the same. But it can have different meaning and it can also have a different sound as well. So here's our definition. And would you read that for me? Everyone else? Words that are spelled the same but have different meanings. We're going to have a bit of an example of a home graph, and I'll have Nate read that for us. You're both nuts. And what's the joke there for that one? They're spelled both like a grandma and a mother. Yeah, so it's a different type of meaning, right? Because he's obviously implying that they're kind of crazy, maybe, <laughs> a bit off the walls. But it's a play on words because one of them's a walnut and like he said the other one's a bolt. <laughs> you nailed it. That's another, that's good, yeah. <laughs> another pun right there. So homograph, we're gonna clap that one as well because it's also very long. So ready guys? Homograph. Perfect. Okay. So in both examples, we see that it's a play on words, right? So we're back to that pun. So 
Now I'm gonna hand something else out to you guys real quick.
book, you like read the book. Exactly. So it says the R E A D is R E D here, right? For the joke. So make sure you mark that, everyone. So I'll let you guys work on five through ten individually, and then we can go ahead and talk about them. So go ahead. 